This week I'm traveling, I'm in Boston, which is why this is not my normal set, but there is Bronco news, so I had to bring it to you. And stick around for the entire video, I've got a RevMatch exclusive near the end. Hi, my name is Eric, I make videos on future cars and trucks. If that's interesting to you, consider subscribing and joining the Discord chat link down below. So far we learned a lot about the Bronco, in fact I made a video a couple days ago, it's the 12 things you probably need to know about the Bronco, it's linked right up here. And for the first time we are seeing these spy shots of the two-door mule. Now when is the Bronco going to come out? We've actually got two possible dates that I think are pretty strong contenders right now. We have June, early June, for the North American International Auto Show that's going to be in Detroit. It's early June. I think that's probably the latest we're really going to be able to see the debut of the Bronco because it's going to be a 2021 model and I don't think the debut is going to be too much, you know, six months is like a pretty good time window for them to debut it and then start putting into production. The other possibility is an April uh, debut at the New York International Auto Show or maybe right around that time. The press days are April 8th and 9th and what manufacturers have been doing lately is they have been doing standalone events around auto shows. So my guess is that there might be a press event around April 7th. That is I think the sort of the best guess, the best information that I have right now. I think that's probably a little bit more likely than June but it's difficult to say right now. That's the best info we have. So this is the first time that we are seeing the two door and here is a side profile and you can see that it has this classic chunky Bronco look that sort of really harkens back to the first and second generation. I think this is absolutely the right move for Ford to do because the Bronco styling the two door is absolutely part of its history so they have to have a two door and I'm so glad that we're actually finally seeing it right now. I know some of you are asking for two door spy photos so here we are. I believe it's going to be on the same wheelbase as the four-door. I think it's going to have the same interior space. That's my guess, at least looking at these photos that we have right now. And they are, you know, Ford is doing some testing. They've been testing in the desert. We've seen that in Johnson Valley. And now we're seeing this testing somewhere in the snow. And what's really cool is that this Bronco gets a little bit of air. Now the Bronco is still in pretty heavy camouflage. You can see that the roof has got a different uh, camouflage on it. It's, it's black. So we're almost completely positive that the roof is going to be removable. The doors are going to be removable as well. There's been a number of patents that have been released showing this. And in fact the roll bar has got a patent on it. We're not sure if it's going to make it into production but it might. A patent where there's an airbag in the roll bar and if you crash and you go off road and the airbag deploys They've got a method of essentially uh, stowing the airbag back into the roll bar so it doesn't block your vision. Now I don't know why you wouldn't just cut it off and if you've had an accident that that's that bad, uh, yeah, it's not a good thing. But at least that's what's in the patent. So we're not quite sure if that's going to make it into production but I think it's a good possibility. There's a couple things that I noticed from looking at these photos. So one, it's got this pretty beefy skid plate. That's obviously a requirement for off-roading. We've got the independent front suspension and I know that's a little bit of a point of controversy and I'm reading in some of the comments. I think that this is going to compete directly with the Jeep Wrangler. A lot of people are saying it doesn't compete directly with the Jeep Wrangler because the Bronco has independent front suspension. So let me know down below why you think Ford has put independent front suspension on this unlike the Jeep which has a solid front axle and a solid rear. The Bronco is going to have a solid rear axle it looks like. The tires on this are pretty beefy. In a previous video that we saw the Bronco on road which might be a Bronco Raptor, maybe not but it appeared to be a more high performance version, it had tires that were 315 70R17s. So these were the Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT and I looked them up and they had a diameter of 34.5, 34.8 inches, something like that, and a width of 12.7 inches. So these are pretty serious, pretty big chunky tires. I'm not sure if that is what this particular mule is riding around on in this video, but it's possible and these are certainly some, you know, pretty beefy, pretty serious looking tires on it. It's a little bit more difficult to say in this video, but in a previous video it looked to me like Ford might be giving us a bead lock wheel option. Now I know that bead lock wheels are not street legal or at least they're not street legal to have the bead lock ring on them when you're driving around in the street. However, Ford does offer a bead lock ring for the Raptor wheels and these wheels 
on the on-road version that we saw a couple of weeks ago, they looked pretty similar. So my guess is that the, the trim ring, the decorative trim ring that we saw on the on-road version, a little bit difficult to see here, it might be available as, the wheels might be available as an option, a beadlock option. So that remains to be seen, but Ford seems to be you know, putting together like some pretty serious off-road creds for this vehicle. We are seeing it testing in the desert, we're seeing it testing now in the snow. This is a body on frame four x four. The information on the powertrain is fairly scant at this point. It seems pretty likely though that we will definitely get a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, uh, four cylinder, and then there's also a pretty strong likelihood we're gonna get the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6, which is gonna make up to 400 pounds feet of torque, uh, 325 horsepower, at least in current trim that they have available on other vehicles like the, uh, the F-150. So I am in the Northeast right now because I've got some exclusive video and I brought my photographer along, his name is Ryan, and he's gonna share with you some of the exclusive video that we shot, that he shot actually, of the Bronco in the woods. So it's video, not just photos. So Ryan, uh, you're my photographer and you saw the Bronco, you were out in the woods a couple days ago. Yeah, I was out hunting some quail and I just happened to have my long camera lens on me and I saw this Bronco come out of nowhere and this is the footage. Let's check it out. Vroom, 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 vroom. I hope you enjoyed that exclusive video. I'm gonna have more like that in the future, maybe. By the way, if you do have information about the Bronco or other uh, cars, trucks, hit me up on Instagram. It's right down here below. I've got two videos up on screen right now. One of them is 12 things about the Bronco. My name is Eric. I will see you in the next video.